Hi everyone! It's been really wet, windy and rainy last couple of days, but right now the sun is out, it's Sunday, so I thought it was a great time to pop outside into the sunshine and get a big bouquet of flowers picked before the rain sets in again. So I'll take you with me and show you what we've got. I've got my basket that I made earlier this year out of cuttings from my fruit trees. So I'll try to fill that up and we'll bring them inside so we can enjoy the garden when it, the rain is down, coming down again very soon. I've got this really deep purple clematis growing up here. And I thought I'd pick a little bit of it. So pretty. And next to it's also this beautiful purple rose. It's called Blue Moon. It's really light purple color. It's gorgeous. I'll get a few of those as well. I also really like cutting some of these rabescans. These really lovely tall spikes. And I'll just go right down to the bottom and just cut a few of these small ones here. There's so many spikes on each stalk. Really nice. Now I have to go and find them in the undergrowth. That's the only thing. I also really love these hollyhocks. The red ones are looking so beautiful this year. But I was thinking that these other sort of orangey ones are looking extra good and would look really nice. They're quite small. So I could pick the central one here. I've never actually used them in, in a cut flower bouquet because they're so big usually. But these ones this year, it's been so cold, I think, that they haven't grown as tall as they usually do. So let's cut the central one right here. a nice size look at it it's so beautiful too the color is like amazing it's really sort of sunset color gorgeous I'm really crazy about these Aztec lilies I planted them for the first time this year after I found the bulbs in a supermarket I'd never seen them before I think the insides look a bit like orchids they're really special the flowers only last each flower it just dies after 24 hours. If you look over here, this one flowered yesterday and now to pick off the deadhead. And what happens is, you can actually see it on this one, right beneath it there's another flower coming up. So these stalks, they keep on going. I don't know if they have, how many flowers they have. They just keep on producing flower after flower, day after day. This one has another one coming up here now. So it's just important to go around and deadhead it. I won't cut these ones because I think they're so wonderful the way they just keep on producing but I had cut one last week before I realized it and it actually kept on producing flowers in the vase which was really nice too so that's really clever here's another bunch next year I have to pull these ones up or I have to dig them up the bulbs up in the autumn because they're not winter hardy and so I think I'm gonna plant them all together next year they look really good all together I think I love these echinaceas too, and I would want to pick them, but if I do pick the stems, then I won't get any more flowers, because if you look closely down here, there are some beautiful little flower buds further on down, so I don't think I'll pick these ones, but I just really love the look of them, these really big pom-poms on the top. They actually remind me of a zinnia I have, which hasn't bloomed yet, but it's one called Zinderella, spelled with a Z, and it's got this big pom-pom as well. Um, hopefully they'll be flowering soon so I can show them to you, but they're just as cute as these guys. Just a different colour, a more peachy colour. I don't usually have too many red flowers, but this year I'm really enjoying the red hollyhocks and these beautiful echinaceas as well. I love these crocus mia too. Just look how beautiful they are. Really bright colours. Really burnt orange. I think I'll just pick a few of these spikes. The ones that are further down. I've got a bunch of them over here too. They were actually all over the garden when we first moved here and so I just dug them up and put them over here out of the way. It's so pretty. I 
pick a few of these guys. I just love daisies too. These are some that I got after deadheading a flower in my friend's garden. I just planted them when the seeds were still green and they all came up. I got so many, I put them all over in the garden. I even found some that were really frizzy. Let me show them to you. This one here, it's called Crazy Daisy. This is actually the one I wanted when I, I deadheaded them, but they don't grow true to seed. So I just have a few randomly dotted around that actually are these Crazy Daisy ones and the rest are the regular beautiful big Shasta daisies. So I just think these are so summery and beautiful. I'll get a few of these as well. Quite a few of these I think. I'll get the ones that are sort of dangling down a bit. Because they tend to flop and so I do have to sort of tie them up to so tie them up to the fence there in a big bunch with some string. So they don't flop over too much. They get so heavy. They're right next to some Logan berries here. And next to some kiwi berries. See you guys. Some of the kiwi berries are getting quite big actually. If you look up here, this guy here. It's quite a decent size so far. Slowly getting there. This is a lovely hydrangea I grew from a little cutting a few years ago. It actually has a few different colours, but it's got pink and white on it. So I think I might just pick a really long white one here. It really is beautiful. Look at it. There are some beautiful red roses here on this arbor here. I think I'll just get one now. They were really blooming earlier this year, and now I've just got a few summer roses left. You can see they're all budding up again now, so we're just in between flushes of roses. I've been pruning them to make sure they keep on flowering all summer. I really love this beautiful little daisy. It's called Feverfew. It's also a medicinal one. It was known as the aspirin of the 18th century, or the medieval aspirin. It's really liked by um, ladybirds as well, it looks like popular little flower. I had big bunches of them growing but they're all sort of gone to seed now so I'll just have to get some of these ones here. I think I might leave the ones that have ladybirds on though. So sweet. I also love these berries for the arrangement. So pretty. These are not edible. They are St. John's wort. They have some really pretty sort of pom-pom-ish um, yellow flowers earlier in the year and then followed by these berries which eventually turn black. But I think they're really pretty when they're this color here. I'll just pick a few to add them. I just love these. These are calendula. This particular one is called sherbet fizz. It has this really pretty color on the outside of the petals. So windy to see but I'll just pick a few of these now I've also been picking them to eat because the petals are edible some people use them as a substitute for saffron which is much more expensive but I haven't tried that I just add them to salad just pick all the petals off and they give like a really nice floral flavor it sort of tastes like sunflowers would taste well the way sunflowers smell that's how I see them really like them I'll get a few of these as well He's a pretty little visitor. So there is the basket full. Looking very summery and colorful. I'll just take them inside and get them into some water. It's so nice that we made it before the rain set in. So there it is, our weekend bouquet we can enjoy while it rains outside. At the moment the sun is still shining, 